Uh, this is group two. We're presenting on anaphylaxis. Emily already has the patient on the table. Uh, this is a 28-year-old female undergoing a simple sinus surgery. Just post-induction intubation. Uh, the patient was given 10 milligrams of morphine, 150 milligrams of propofol, uh, 100 milligrams of succinylcholine, and 2 grams of ANSAF. You're good up there? Uh, yeah. Well, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I'm good. What do you need, Emily? You having problems again? Yeah, well, my heart rate, my blood pressure, I treated it <laughs> What'd once. you do to the patient? I'm the doctor here. I treated the patient with 100 and Neos. 100? Give him 100 more. Okay. All right, gave him, gave him another 100. My, my heart rate's up, my stats dropping, my peak pressure's were high. I came you, back on my gas because the pressure was low. Just turn the gas off. Uh, the pressure's worse. Let's see. Okay. Okay, how about, um, let's see, let's get some epi. You got epi in the in your drawer there? Yeah, somewhere I do. How much epi should I get? Let's just give about 10 mics of epi. Let's see what 10 mics does. Okay. So they don't have any allergies, do they? I don't know. I mean, you no one told me of any. You didn't pre opt I thought you pre opted Well, I had the record. He I said we could roll. Hold I talked to the patient before he rolled back, but I didn't ask him any, any allergies. I thought you guys asked about allergies. You filled out the pre op, so I think Well, I, I pre op patients all day long. Oh, that's I'm the doctor here. Maybe I should listen. Think I should listen? Yeah, go ahead and listen one. Let's see. No, let's, let's we get got some wheezing. Let's get some more epi. Let's get I some more epi. I think he did say he had asthma. He's got some expiratory wheezes. At this point, I mean, I've got a pulse here. We don't need to start CPR just yet. Okay. I get, how much more epi? Let's let's give him um let's give him 50 mics. Okay. Give me a give me an epi drip. Okay. What did we induce with again? Propofol, fentanyl. Here, Dr. Saunders, here's your Esmolol drip. Esmolol, no, e epi drip. Oh, I thought you said Esmolol. Oh, sorry. Dr. Saunders, here's your Epi drip. Here's your arterial line. Can you still fill a pulse? Let's start this Epi. Here's your pulmonary artery catheter, kid. You want to start a pulmonary artery catheter? I don't need a pulmonary artery catheter. All right, you don't need a pulmonary catheter? Right, not just yet. Got that Epi drip running. I started with two mics a minute. Right. I still can't get a pressure. Let's open this, this fluid up a little bit. Hold on. Give him a little bowl? Yeah, let's get some extra fluid in this patient. We got a sad again, but it's terrible. Maybe one. Maybe I should give some Benadryl or something. Sure. Yeah, we, you could try that. Yeah, let's. Can I have a break? Can I just take a lunch break? Let's, let's I wait till. Break yet. It's like 10 o'clock. I'm starving. Let's wait till this, this is done. We gotta get this patient stabilized. I haven't had a break yet. That's okay. Stop bothering me during this, okay? I'm the doctor here. Girl, it's like rude. I'm waiting for a pressure. I it won't take. I keep hitting the button. I'm just going to sit here. And if you want to take your break in here, you need to go sit in the opposite side of the room because I can't have that sandwich and soda up here right now, okay? okay. Oh, that's a I'm the doctor here. The rhythm is not looking good. Okay, we're going to have to uh, do something else about this patient. I'll call it code. Attention, attention, code blue. Oh, I'm Code blue. I don't, do you still feel a pulse? No, I don't feel a pulse anymore. <laughs> Maybe someone should start doing this. Tone call code? Yeah, can you do some compressions for this? I mean, it's not. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. Fat, a little faster. We, we can't get a PA line in right now. We need to worry about getting this you know, rhythm back. Get a viable rhythm. Gosh, this patient is only 26? 28, yeah.
the correct medical management of a patient with anaphylaxis. Same 28-year-old female undergoing a ENT surgery. This time we will administer 50 of fentanyl, 150 of propofol, rock, and ANCEP 2 grams. You good up there? You got the airway? I think so, yeah. Cool. Looking good. Let me know. I'm going to get the stuff to start doing the crap if that's okay. But yeah, go, go right ahead. Okay, let, let me know if I need to move the patient down or anything. Okay, thanks, Emily. You're great. Right. Right. Appreciate it. I'm going to try to blow my end titles down. Am I going to be in your way if I start prepping this patient? No, no, no. Go right ahead. We're Perfect. good. We're good. I'm just going to pull the sheets back a little bit so I can get all this clean. Oh, sure. wow. Did, did you notice this? I didn't notice this rash in the pre office. No. I, it's all over her torso, too. I think I'll get a little Benadryl or something. Okay, yeah. This patient had no known allergies. No, she didn't have any allergies. She well, had asthma, but she's no symptoms really rare. They're on the inhaler. Okay, so. giving her 100 mics of Neo. My blood pressure is a little bit low, but my heart rate's high, so cut back on my gas just a little bit, or maybe that Neo will help. If we get another low pressure, I may have to call Dr. Saunders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be happy to call. No Let me listen. Sure. Dr. Saunders, can you come and help him with having a little blood pressure problem? Some wheezes. What's going on, Emily? You need something? Yeah. Our heart rate's really high. Did you um, treat that pressure? I did. I bumped originally with 100 of Neo, and it, and it continued to go down. Okay. You've given um, more Neo since? I gave another 150, okay. and I'm going to recycle here. I came down on my gas. My peak pressures were high. Okay. Originally, my end title was kind of high. I came up to try to blow that down a little bit. Okay, we got our gas off. Let's turn our gas off for now. Okay. Um, sure. Our um, stats are okay. Our heart rate's up. Okay, we need to treat that pressure again. Let's go ahead and recycle it. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some epi uh, drawn up. Okay. All right, recycling. Nicole, can you run and get me an epinephrine drip, Absolutely. please? And Dr. Saunders also, when I was about to start notice this patient, had oh, a wow. rash all over her torso. Yeah, yeah that. we might be having an anaphylactic reaction here. She has, reaction he, he has here. weeds as well, so I'll... Let's go, ahead and, let's go ahead and get 20 mics of epinephrine. Okay. Okay, I've got it right here. Okay, here's your epi drip drip for some of us. Awesome, thank Already you. Already need You're welcome. Are we Just getting like anything know. from that epi bolus? Checking the pressure again. Sat's dropping a little bit. Uh, what about smell Did you roll? Did he just Yeah, go ahead and give, okay. give four puffs through the okay. tube there. And when the four box is on my finger, I think that that's that okay. correct. Okay. I'm getting this hooked up. So hopefully that albuterol will open up yeah, our airways a little bit. Albuterol's going in. Uh, some Benadryl maybe, you think? If you have it in your cart, let's go ahead okay. and give it. Let's, let's don't see. need to worry about that just now, but we will be giving it. Let's go ahead and give another bolus of epi, another 20 okay. mics. And I'm going to start this infusion probably somewhere between 0.05 and, and uh, 1. Let's start it at uh, 3 mics a minute with our infusion. Okay, okay. That's going on now. We open up our okay. fluid. Yeah, definitely get a bolus in. We want to give them at least 600 to uh, up to a liter, liter and a half of fluid as quickly as possible. Do you want me to get you a pressure bag? Yeah, yeah get a pressure bag. Sure we will. have one. Sure we can put will. this on pressure. I'm Did we have the Benadryl? Yeah, here? I'm going to give um, 0.5 milligrams per kilogram. So Perfect. like 33, 35. Awesome. That's awesome. I've got the cough cycling again. Our SAT is, is maintaining a little bit. Our heart rate is our, going down. Our peak pressures are coming down a little bit too on the vent. So good. good. Let's listen. Let's listen to our okay. lungs again. Pressure's coming up. It's stabilizing a little. Our entitle looks good. Our SATs are coming back up. Yeah, our breath sounds sound clear. Uh, we can also give um, some steroids. Why don't we give some hydrocortisone? Do we have it in our top? Uh, yes, I got some right here. 250 milligrams will be. Okay. Perfect. All right. Great. Running that in. Um, I may uh, flip them on manual and see how. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's get a little bit of gas back going. We don't want our patient waking okay. up. Just, okay. Just just put it on at half percent right now. Okay. Pretty easy to bag. Okay. Good. So I think I think we're. Let's get them back on the van. Our sats are in the nineties. Okay. Let's get another pressure. pressure. It looks like we're settling out a bit. Now what we could do is if that if that the epinephrine wasn't working, we could also go with glucagon with levofed in a situation like this. Okay. Um, the easiest one is levofed because it's the same dose as your epinephrine. So we would try to start at around three to four mics for a patient about this size okay. in the 60 to 70 kilo range. Okay. Um, that's if it's not responding to epinephrine. Um, okay. We treat it with Benadryl. Yes. We treat it with the steroids and hydrocortisone. Yes. Um, in our pre-op, we, you know, the patient had no known allergies. The young patient without a history, always a risk, especially for female patients of, of having anaphylaxis. I think we um, jumped in here and um, got on it quick enough. Our patient sure, stabilized. And we can go ahead if you want to start prepping. Absolutely. Yeah. I sure will. Thank Let's you. Let's call the surgeon, let him know, give him an update on what mm -hmm. happened. Okay. 
Um, we should be able to proceed with surgery. We are going to want to keep this patient overnight because there is a chance of a relapse. We're going to want to monitor them. Okay. Do you have any other questions? No, I'm no. going to hang out here with you for a little sure, while. Sure. Double check some of the dosing on our pump here. Yeah. Our epi drips yeah. one in the three. We can try to wean that down as our pressure tolerates. Okay. We've got gas back on board. Yes, we're good. Thanks so much, Dr. Saunders. You did a great job, Emily. Yeah, good for your thanks for getting, thanks for oh, hey, Dr. Saunders. Emily, how are you? Hey, I'm good. I wanted to talk to you about that case earlier. That was a great case. You know, you really did a good job in there. Thank, Thank you. you. What do you think caused that? Um, well, it's interesting with anaphylaxis. You know, the neuromuscular blocking drugs can be something, you know, 60% of the time an anaphylactic reaction like that is due to the neuromuscular. And so a patient with very little history of uh, issues, that's what I would lean towards. Um, you know, they did have a remote history of asthma. I think there's a small chance that it could have been something else in airway, but I, I think that was a true anaphylactic to our neuromuscular blocking drugs. And, um, you know, the way you stepped up as a student was definitely uh, to be commended. Thank you so much. Thank you yeah. for responding so quickly. It was yeah. scary, but a really good learning experience. And that's, that's a good experience that you can take home and do a little bit more research on and take it to class and share that with your class next year. For sure. Thanks yeah. so much. Glad it turned out well. Uh -huh. Good work.